My name is Pat Meyerhofer, and I'm president and founder of Nature Stones Incorporated. Uh, today I'm here at Oakworks, and I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, information on what massage stones are and what's available in massage stones uh, today. Typically, uh, what most people use are Mexican beach pebbles. And Mexican beach pebbles are very high in iron and magnesium. The buzzword in the industry is basalt, B-A-S-A-L-T. And many places will tell you that they have pure basalt stones. Uh, actually, the Mexican beach pebbles are made up of many different uh, types of um, elements, but they're all incredible to work with. Uh, the Mexican beach pebbles are not perfectly round, although some of them are, but most of them have a little bit of distinctive shape to them, which make them wonderful to work with because they just fit in your hand perfectly. Um, the fact that they are high in iron and magnesium helps them to hold the heat, and that gives you the ability to work very well with, uh, with the stones when you're working on your clients. Uh, the Mexican beach pebbles may come in a lot of different colors. Uh, this particular one has a little bit of a green, green tinge to it. And what that tells me is that when it was created by the volcano, when the volcano erupted and spewed its lava in the air, and the lava came down and it landed in an ocean or a river, it tells me that on the bottom of that river there was silt. And that's what uh, it picks up and gives it a little bit of a greenish tinge. If, however, it has a little bit of a reddish tinge to it, that tells me that it was probably in a river that had a clay bottom to it but it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't change the quality of the stone itself. It's still wonderful to work with. But we're very lucky because now in the industry, we have some really pure basalt stones that have been carved. They're carved with, um, with a diamond saw. Now, let me explain a little bit what I have here. I have uh, pure basalt stones. I have marble. I also have some beautiful jade. I have some sardonyx. Um, there is also some aquamarine, uh, and we also have some soapstones. Let me explain first a little bit uh, about the stones. Uh, when we look at the stones, there's such a thing as a Mohs scale, and the Mohs scale measures the hardness of an item. The hardest thing on that scale is diamond. Three steps down is the basalt and the Mexican beach pebbles. On the soft end of the scale is limestone, and three steps up is marble. So it makes a perfect yin and yang between the basalt and the marble to work with them. Now with the marble stones, the marble stones are a very soft stone. And what makes them so wonderful to work with is that it, um, because they're so soft, they absorb the heat and the inflammation from the body. The other thing that makes them so wonderful is that marble always tends to be 11 degrees colder than its environment. So even if you work with the stones at room temperature, they're still very beneficial. And uh, they do still feel cold uh, to the client that you have on the table. There are many people out there that offer you a lot of other uh, um, stones to work with. One of the things that they may offer you will be sardonyx. Um, sardonyx, uh, however, what I have found is that uh, it does not work as well as what marble does. And when you look at uh, the two options that you have here, when you have sardonyx, sardonyx you can actually see light through it. And it has a tendency to chip a lot easier than what the marble does. The marble tends to be a lot more solid and a lot easier to work with. Many people will also suggest that you work with jade. Jade is absolutely beautiful, very expensive, um, but it's beautiful. The problem with jade is that many times they polish it uh, so much that you cannot hold onto it and it has a tendency to slip out of your hands. What also happens with jade is that when it is heated, it lo loses most of its beauty and it just kind of gets white and smoky looking. Other people will suggest that you work with soapstones. Soapstones uh, are a lot easier to carve because it's a softer stone but it does not hold the heat as well as the basalt and the Mexican beach pebbles. Soapstones, because of the type of stone it is, has a tendency to chip too easily. 
Now, with basalt, there are many different types of basalts, many classifications. One particular classification is a classic basalt stone. And the classic basalt stone, if you can see it here, is completely riddled with holes and is kind of rough, almost like pumice. The problem with this particular stone is that because of the holes that are in the stone itself, it has a tendency to harbor bacteria. So you would not want to use something like that. You want to use something that is smoother. This here is a Mexican beach pebble that just happened to crack open. But if you can see here the different colors, that shows you where there's many different elements that are in the stones themselves. Now the advantage with working with uh, the carved basalt stones uh, and the marble is that they are carved to particular shapes which help you in uh, whatever modality that you work with. If you're a reflexologist, you may like to have a stone like this. And even though this is really a cute stone and you'll say, wow, that's really beautiful, but it's also a great tool because you can work the reflexology uh, paths with the toe you can work with the edge of the stone and you can also work with it flat. When you get into some therapeutic work, you may, especially if you do trigger point work, you may want to work with something like the curved trigger point tool, which you can do static pressure with, but you can also use the curve of the stone, you can use it flat, and you can use the curve here. This is an incredible tool. Most of the stones come in basalt and marble and they're great to work with. This particular stone I love to use uh, with myofascial unwinding. It is also great to use when you're doing some therapeutic work to get into the subscapularis. It is wonderful to work down the arm and right into the subscapularis. Some of my favorite stones are the cuffs. Uh, the cuffs coming in basalt and in marble um, these are absolutely terrific to work when you're working on the side of the body and down the leg. Um, just incredible. And they can be used as the curve. They can also be used um, for the edge of it. They can be used on this edge as well. And these come in two different sizes. The smaller one is great to use on the arms. This is what makes the stone so great, is that you can carve them for any shape that you need, even if you want to get underneath the scapula. These are wonderful stones uh, to do that with as well. Great stones also for underneath the eyes. This is also a great retail uh, item in your spas. Uh, clients are, what are really very happy to buy these for themselves to use because they're great in the morning when they first wake up to take the puffiness away. The other advantage with uh, the carved stones is that you can have stones carved for whatever modality uh, that you are doing. If you're working with facials, we have small stones um, that you can use for the facials. We also have small teardrop stones that are called Pat's Teardrops. And these are great to use in a cool of face rejuvenation where you would actually activate energy points on the face. They are great to massage with, whether you are using marble, whether you are using the pure basalt, or whether you are using uh, the Mexican beach pebbles. Uh, stone massage is one of the most popular massages that is out there, and you can do almost any type of modality with the stones. Any technique that you do with your hands, you can do with the stones as well. Thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity to speak to you today. And if you would like to learn more about the stones or see what else is available in the different shapes of the stones, please go to my website, www.naturestonesinc.com. Thank you.